In a district where education is more than just a profession, a group of passionate students in our STAR group embarked on a journey to identify and celebrate the qualities that make great teachers. Our students identified what characteristics make D50 educators truly exceptional. Through meaningful discussions and heartfelt reflections, STAR members delved into what makes their favorite educators stand out. Caring, respectful, approachable, adaptable, enthusiastic, and captivating emerged as the pillars of what extraordinary teaching looks like in D50, and thus our portrait of an educator was born. Our STAR group then used those words to interview those great educators and find out how they became such great examples of outstanding education. So you were chosen for being a captivating teacher here in the district. So my first question for you is how do you create an engaging or a captivating environment for your students? That's a really good question. Um, I think it's very important to know uh, what our students are interested in, what their hobbies are, what their passions are, and make sure that what we're teaching them is something interesting to them. And a way to do that is to find a way to um, make it familiar to them and make it something that they can use every day. So being being part of what they do outside of school and, and knowing what their hobbies are is really important. It's really rewarding for me as a teacher when you're, um, maybe you have a block schedule, you're teaching an 80 minute um, lesson and there's maybe two or three minutes left of the class and you're like, okay, let's, you know, let's finish up and get going, we gotta go to our next class and like, already? <laughs> That's, the, we're done? Uh, can, can, we, can we finish this before we go? Can we, like, can we take five more minutes? That tells you, you know, you, they don't even, they're not looking at the clock, they're not counting minutes, they're really there, they're engaged, they're with you, so. When that happens, and it's, I've been fortunate to experience that a few times, yeah. that's, you know, it's a really, really good and uh, rewarding experience for me as an educator. So you're chosen for enthusiastic. As an enthusiastic educator, how do you stay current with new teaching mythologies and technologies to enhance your teaching effectiveness? Just getting to know our students is, is amazing. And I, I know you too, I'll, I'll oftentimes say, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. And everyone says good or, uh, or they're ready for lunch, you know, or PE. But one of my favorite things is, Ella, you've done a wonderful job. And I know a lot of students right away, if there's something new or interesting that comes out, you're like, hey, Mr. Schwartz, you got to check this out. Or um, so-and-so, this teacher is doing this. Someone else should try it. So I think at the junior high, we're lucky that you all are probably better and uh, you guys are the experts of technology and you've been living it through your whole life. So I think that's one way we're able to stay uh, current is through the students. Well, hi, Ms. Mahalaj. I picked you because I think that you're adaptable. How did you adapt from switching from being an architect to a being a teacher in a classroom? How did I, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, it was a big change. I think just kind of approaching teaching like I would anything else, just giving it my whole heart and um, just saying the best I have is what I can do and just always um, treating each day like a new day and just going with the flow, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think the great thing about teaching is that you lift up your students and some days your students are lifting you up because yeah. they um, they see you're having a rough day and having a hard time so um, I think that's one of the surprises of teaching was how much the students are also there for you. How do you make your students really excited to like learn with any subject? I think it starts with I have to own it myself. Yeah. When I'm excited about something, you guys will naturally be more excited about it. Yeah. I genuinely love what I do. How do you stay positive? There's nothing else that I would rather picture myself 
doing other than knowing that I come to school <laughs> each day and do something that I love and that has meaning and purpose. And even if I just get to impact one kid in my room, that makes a big difference. So I, I can't even picture anywhere else that I could have a more meaningful impact. So that's why I love what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you learned to be approachable. I think taking the time to talk with them one-on-one, -on -one, while they're pulling them out into the hallway, meeting with them after school, before school, and making sure you're making that connection with one another and checking in every day or every couple of days when you see them. Maybe it's what they did over the weekend, maybe it's what grade they're getting in this class, or how we can better support them and then hopefully that'll help them translate to being comfortable with coming to me if they do have something to talk about. How do you make sure that we can feel like we can talk to you? Um, I had a teacher in high school that made it very apparent that whenever we needed someone they were there for us to talk to and I wanted to make sure I instilled that throughout student teaching and then coming into the middle school as well. Making sure my classroom felt like a safe place for all of my students to come in and talk, whether it's during lunch, during class, after school, whether it's life, just talking about plans, talking about what they want to do when they're older. I think it's great to just make that space safe for them to come in and talk. Um, so today we chose some teachers and for some qualities and I chose you for being a respectful teacher, a respectful educator. I have some questions for you. My first question is, how do you handle situations where students initially don't show respect to you or you pe or their peers? And I think that um, I try my best to just get to know what's going on with the students, that I'm just here to help and I, I, wanna, I want the best for the student. And so we try to come up with ways to help our, our, um, the student you know, be the best that they can be. I feel like some of the strategies that I try to employ the most and right off the bat are just expressing the students, one, um, that you know I see you as an individual person and that's something that I am interested in is getting to know each student um, and just letting them know more about me and why I'm here. I think a lot of students have the impression that you know their teacher was just happy to assign them something and sit behind a desk, but I mean part of what inspires me every day is seeing you guys take the things that we talk about in class and you know improve on them and improve yourselves and you know your own habits so it's very inspiring for me and when you are able to look at kids and talk with them enough you'll be able to understand how to approach that kid and whether it be with humor whether it be with um, caring words mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be however you need to get that student in a better place in a supportive place yeah. that's how you do it <laughs>